Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be doing something a little bit simpler and tiny and cute because I'm burned out and I need to make something just cute and tiny. So I've been a little bit busy with taking on a decent amount of commissions and I thought like, you know what, instead of like pushing out a piece that may not be the best quality because I'm trying to get a video out quick, let's make something simple and fun. So today I'm going to be making a cute little succulent monster. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so my idea for our succulent monster is kind of like a big round ball of moss, kind of that shape for the body, and then the succulent can be on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the clay face, and then we'll have a few claws that we need to make. Now this face is going to be really flat to kind of go with the round shape of the body so I don't need to use any tin foil to build it up or anything but I did add a layer of tin foil over my glass that way it's easier to peel off. Sometimes with these really thin faces they can crack when you try and peel them up because they stick too much to the glass and this just helps. So I'm going to roll out some clay make a nice thickish layer and then shape it to about how round I want the head to be. Once I get that laid out, I am going to build up the face just a little bit because we need a little bit more to work with. We can't go completely flat with it. So I'm going to take a little bit more clay and blend it in, make sure that it's nice and kind of domed a little bit, and then I can start marking out where I want the facial features. I'm going to start with the eyes. I have some plain glass pieces that are the same size as the eyes that I want to use and I'm just going to place them on the face, make sure they're nice and evenly positioned and then I can start marking out where I want the nostrils and the mouth to go. I kind of want to have a bit of a like wiggly goofy shape for the mouth. Now normally when I'm laying out the shape of the mouth, I'll roughly sketch it out first, but I'm actually just going to use my thumbs and kind of adjust the shape of it and kind of really define where it is, and then I'm going to use my tool to clean up the line separating them. I just figured this was going to work a little bit better because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted the mouth yet. After I have all the facial features laid out, I'm going to throw on some texture. So I'm just going to add a bit of a bumpy texture with my tools and then I'm going to use a different side of my tool to make larger bumpy sections in different spots. Once I'm happy with how the texture looks, I'm going to put this face in the oven for about 45 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Once the face is out of the oven and has cooled to touch, I can swap out those glass pieces for the eyes that I want and I can start building up clay around them to make the eyelids. After that, I just need to add the texture that we have on the face onto the new clay that we added to the face and make sure everything is blended together. Now for the clay feet, I'm mainly just going to be making claws. I'm going to have four limbs for this creature, and each foot is going to have three claws. So I'm going to take some balls of clay and I'm going to roll them into cone shapes. I'm going to take 
three of those cones, kind of mush them together at the base, and then blend them together. You'll want to kind of adjust them a little bit to make sure they're the right shape and to even curve them a bit so they look more natural, they're not just pointed cones. I'm going to do this for all four of the feet. Once I'm done, I'm then going to bake them because I'm just using my regular Sculpey clay for them. Now these aren't very large, so I'm just going to put them in the oven to bake for about 30, maybe 40 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Once all the clay pieces are done baking and curing, we can then start working on the painting. So for the face, my main goal right now is to match the color of the fabric that I want to use for the body. That way it kind of seamlessly blends into the fabric. So I'm going to try and get that green color that I want mixed up as best as possible and I'm going to go over the entire face with it. Once I get the main color of green that I'm looking for, I'm then going to start working on some shadows. So any area that's kind of set in deeper into the face that would have a shadow, I'm going to slightly darken. And then I'll work on some highlights here and there. So like the cheeks and above the eyes, anything kind of sticking more out, I'll brighten up a little bit. After that I'm going to let everything dry and then I'm going to take a tool and I'm going to scrape away the paint that got on our glass eyes. Now sometimes you will end up peeling off some of the paint on the clay surrounding it so you might have to touch that up here and there but it's not too hard. Now with the claws I'm going to leave these super simple and just do a basic color. Now I want to leave everything really, really green, so I'm going to go with more of an olivey dark green for the claws. Okay, so all of our clay pieces are done, and now we can start working on the sewing. So I've got my simple pattern kind of laid out so you can get an idea of what we're going to do. I have the pattern pieces for the body and for the succulent that will go on the back. So for the body, we have a belly piece and a side piece, and then little pieces for the legs. For the succulent, we have different sizes for all the petals, that way we can make the smaller ones in the center and go larger as we get further away from the center. Now the first thing that I'm going to work on are going to be the feet. So I'm going to take the claws that we made and I'm going to take the pieces for the foot. Um, we're going to need two for each foot and what we're going to do is we're going to glue them around the bases of the feet. So we'll glue one over the top section and the bottom and then we'll just sew down the sides of this and stuff it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fabric pieces for the body. We have one belly piece and a left and right side piece. And what we're going to do is when we sew our side piece in place, we're going to sew the legs for that side of the body in place as well. Once I have the legs and sides sewn in place onto the belly piece, I can then take our clay head and we can start gluing the fabric around the base of the head. Normally I would call this gluing the neck fabric around the base of the head, but there really isn't a neck, so yeah. 
Anyways, I'm gonna get that glued in place, let it dry a little bit, and then we're going to stuff and close up the body. Okay, so now we just have this succulent to make. So I have some fabric folded over and pinned, and I've got as many petals as I think I'll need sketched out in different sizes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew around each petal, leaving the base open. So we can get all of those sewn, and then we can cut them out, flip them right side out, and stuff them. And then once everything is all stuffed, we can start sewing them together. And this is a little time consuming. We're gonna start with the tiny ones first and we're gonna slowly kind of go around and then we'll go to the larger and larger ones as we get further away from the center. Now you'll notice that I don't have the succulent with any color at all. We started out completely white and that's because I wanted to paint the fabric to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I, the fabric I am using is suede. I've been using this a lot recently and I just really like painting it. So I'm going to take some watered down acrylic and I'm going to start by doing the darker bits in between all of the petals. So I'm going to get that painted in and then I'll dampen it some more to kind of blend it out. And then I'll start using brighter greens on the ends of each succulent leaf. Once I like that color, I'm going to start adding some polka dots and different lines here and there to really decorate it. Once I'm happy with the paint job on the succulent, I'm going to set it somewhere to dry, probably in front of a fan to make it go a little bit faster. Um, once it's completely dried, I can then attach it to the body of our creature. So I'm going to figure out where I want that and I'm just going to stitch it in place. Okay guys, and here is our little succulent monster. I think he came out really cute. Again, a very simple project, but I still had a lot of fun with it. Now this little guy will be in my shop. I've only made one of him, even though he's very tiny. I didn't have the time to make more, but if he sells quick and you guys seem very interested in seeing more of them, I can make different variations, different types of succulents and different things like that. 
facial expressions. It could be a lot of fun. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more of these because I could definitely make them pretty decently quick and throw them into my shop for you. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!